Skybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. Ah. It's so... Lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Those glasses? are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> you kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I should pick this up. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. It unlocks the outhouse outside. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good! You unlocked it. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> Gross. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. What? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm half 
having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. Some places you go have... That's my friend Dee. Hey, Dee. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what the current boshi, but the older design went, you can still on a modern ink. That's to prevent the little flick. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have about 30 all. But the old the word, they're called that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hands off! I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days have no regard for. Gotta run! How rude. I wonder where this path goes. I wonder where this path goes. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we had this. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. 